opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center and protects the d4 pawn. nf6 protects the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. The Colet system starts with e3, which supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. bf5 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e4 square. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. 